Now that we've been to the top of the mountain, let's go inside tram control and check it out. Okay, I'm Chuck Malakar and I'm the uh, tram manager here at Jackson Hole Aerial Tram. Uh, we've spent the last two and a half years putting this whole thing together and uh, we managed to get ourselves one fine machine out of the whole situation. Uh, we've got a, a tramway that's two and a half miles long. We've got over 4,000 vertical on it and it's a real workhorse. This last winter we moved over 4,000 people a day and we had a grand total of uh, around 310,000 people. Summertime operation has been really successful and it's a weather oriented type of thing and so we're uh, when the weather is good we see lots of people and we move them up the hill and they have a good time. It's the, the master control panel and this basically is an overview of everything that's going on with the machine. Uh, we can see the travel speed and the now this screen also will show us wind information. So we get wind at each tower and the top station uh, gives us direction and speed. It's imperative that all of these numbers match up within their preset limits uh, to maintain a safe operating condition. Down here we have, of course, uh, the main control switch. We've got a, a, a slow stop, an ease stop, and a normal stop, and we've got speed control here. So it gives us the uh, real-time information on lightning. If we get lightning within that eight-mile ring, we'll try and cease operation. The screen is uh, monitoring the uh, travel of the cabins on the line, and uh, it's accurately depicting uh, what's going on out on the cables themselves. The computer has already figured out where the car is and begins to slow down and begins the process of bringing the car into the dock. So here, here she comes and the, the slowdown is incremental and as it's brought into the dock we pull in and then the, uh, um, the car locks into place as the brakes Come down. We get all of our information for the tram on the haul rope. So the haul rope is our main communications line. All the information is sent at, on different frequencies on the haul rope and then it's decoded back in this panel which is called the RSS panel. So all of the all the signaling goes on here and is then is processed in turn will engage necessary functions to uh, maintain a safe operation of the machine. How long did it take you to, to learn how to run this thing? It was, it, was this a plug and play? No. No, this is, uh, a lot of it was uh, the fact that we had a similar system with the old tramway. So we were all familiar with the, that and uh, there's very little difference in this system except that it's a little more sophisticated which makes it easier for us to deal with. Uh, the computers will actually tell us what the fault is and will guide us through the process of troubleshooting it. Okay we've checked out all the bells and whistles in the control room. Let's go downstairs and check out all the horsepower that runs this baby.